Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, for just a moment, can we set aside all of our preconceived notions about your favorite subject, which is PERS reform? And let's consider if we had a blank slate to start with. Let's just imagine for a moment that instead of being in the situation we're in, which is very difficult for all of us, that we are looking forward and saying, how could we design a good public pension system? And let me ask you a question. Would you design the system to encourage public employees to spike their pension right before they retire? Let's be clear about what that means. It creates an incentive for employees to work a lot of overtime right before they retire, to accumulate sick leave right before they retire instead of taking time off when they're sick, which is what sick leave is intended for, and to accumulate vacation time instead of taking vacations, which I thought was what vacation time was intended for. It's not their fault that that's the incentive, but that's the way the system is now. And I think if we were starting over, we would not design the system to encourage employees to do that on their way to retirement. And even if you believe that that's a good policy, which I, I doubt anybody really does, I'm being rhetorical, but even if you do, would you trade it for $120 million per biennium that we could be spending on schools and public safety and all of the things that we are here to promote, all of the things that we care about, many of which we share a passion for. So you may have seen, most of you probably have seen, the, uh, the Oregonian editorial. This isn't uh, real PERS reform. Talking about SB 822, the co-chair's proposal. You may have also seen uh, the Register Guard aiming too low on PERS. Colleagues, I am concerned that we would even consider half measures if we're going to take on PERS, let's get it fixed once and for all. Let's make it a pension system that is sustainable and does what we intended it to do. Let's not take a half step and continue the perennial political debate about PERS because you know who that hurts? It hurts public employees because every couple of years we're sitting here talking about their pension and we should not be surprised if that causes them concern. Let's get it fixed. Let's dig in and do the hard work and get it done in an open and public way. And let's do it this biennium.